In today's video, we're checking out this. It's the Laser X Fusion. Right, so this is it. It's the Laser X Fusion set. So Laser X have kindly sent me these blasters to check out and share with you. I previously looked at some kind of laser tag sets in the past, but Laser X basically say that they are the number one kind of home laser game system. So let's kind of put that to the test and uh, check things out. So this is kind of the second generation uh, of the Laser X system. There is a Laser X Gen 1. Uh, this is the Fusion set. I have a different uh, video looking at this uh, new Morph Blaster that's uh, available as well. But the main thing is every single one of these Laser X solutions can work together. So as you kind of grow the pack, you can play with more friends. Um, so if you've got a Gen 1 Laser X, you can play with someone who's got Fusion or Morph or whatever you want to do. Uh, this particular set has various uh, different pieces in which we'll look at in a moment. Those are kind of Fusion X compatible accessories, so they only work with this particular blaster, uh, but obviously you still play uh, against people from any different range. So, one of the main things that's really good about these kind of sets is you don't need a smartphone, you don't need Wi-Fi to set up, you literally just pick it up, pop some batches in, and you're good to go. So it's really helpful to get um, big and little kids uh, out and about, kind of getting some fresh air. Obviously you can play it in a house as well, and you can get kind of lasers rebounding off mirrors and all sorts of stuff, but. In this video, we'll obviously go outside and um, check things out. And um, yeah, I mean, you can tell already they look pretty damn cool. They've got cool lights on them. Um, it's kind of interactive. It's got like this coach function where it kind of talks to you and gives you tips um, whilst you're playing the game. So we we'll just do this unboxing and uh, take you for everything and then go outside so you can see what it looks like and um, give you the thoughts on how well it works. So this particular set um, is around $80 in the US and about 70 odd pounds here in the UK. There we go. So the way this works is you can play or use this set as a single player. Uh, well, I'd say a single player as part of um, you know, a bigger team, or you can use this as a two player setup. And we'll look through that kind of as we go. Okay, so let's kind of break down what we have in the box and how things all fit together. So the main thing that's really obvious is the Laser X blaster itself. I've taken the bottom of this one already, so you can see basically it just takes three AA batteries. They aren't supplied, but obviously a quite common battery, and it's just a Phillips head screw um, that kind of has a cover over the bottom of that. So really easy to kind of get up and running. That's basically all you need. As mentioned, there's no phone or app or anything. Comes with this um, little jack plug as well, which we, we'll show you how that, that kind of plugs in at the moment. And you'll see on this uh, Fusion X model, there's a few things that kind of uh, may seem a little bit odd at first. So you can see in various parts, there's these little three metal connectors. So there's a couple here on the nozzle, some here um, on the base, and some more here on the top. And this is where the kind of Fusion X accessories connect to the blaster to enable kind of different functionality. And this is just kind of how they communicate with the rest of the blaster itself. So you have more awesome blasting power. So as mentioned, you can either use this system uh, as single player, so perhaps you're gonna you know, have two guns, or you can kind of share them with a friend, which is kind of how we look at the game uh, in a little bit. So in terms of kind of range, in optimal conditions, um, the blaster has around 250 feet range, which is pretty uh, damn impressive. And then when you add um, different modules, you kind of can extend that range, both in lengths and in terms of how wide a beam pattern that you have. So basically the way this kit works is you have a couple of kind of sensors so this first one here is like your chest plate uh, that you're putting your chest, which we'll look at um, in a moment, has basically three modes. So off is standard. If you move it across uh, to one, you're on the red team. Move it across another, you're on the blue team. 
and third, you are in rogue mode, which is basically everyone for themselves. The guns constantly give off uh, a beep tone whilst you're in game to stop people kind of secretly hiding and never ever get caught. But you can plug in a set of headphones or earphones into this system so as a player you can hear the tips uh, from the coach and also get the auditory input that you've been hit etc. The way the game works is you each kind of have eight, uh, eight lives essentially so you can get blasted eight times and obviously when you've been blasted eight times uh, then the game is over for you. However during the game each minute that you don't get blasted you then recover one of those eight lives. So the game can kind of go on for a really long time depending on how many players you have and kind of how kind of larger area you have to play in. Obviously like any of these laser games they do work well in the sunlight but it's the lower light dusk where you're going to really get the optimal range and kind of have some really good fun. So again this is the um, chest plate so as you're uh, wearing this as a single player, obviously you'd wear this on your front. Then we have this, um, let's just get it out. Then we have this micro receiver. You can do uh, a couple of things with this. You can obviously wear it um, on your arm or you can affix it um, to this rear mount um, on the, the vest plate. Uh, so you obviously have a front and um, side mounted uh, sensor. If you're doing a two player, the second player can put this um, on their arm to use as a, a micro sensor for them. So you have the two player gameplay going on. Both of these sensors have um, a jack plug at the bottom that obviously the guns will connect to. So you can see this one's got three jack plugs at the bottom, uh, a volume adjustment on the side here, whereas the micro receiver just has a single jack plug. So this is kind of how they're all gonna communicate with each other. The other thing that's kind of cool, if you're um, playing as a team and you're using this, this setup as a single player setup, having the main vest and the micro receiver on the back gives you kind of an invincibility mode that you can use um, every now and then. So you have kind of 10 uses of that invincibility mode. But again, just adds a bit more creative gameplay and options to kind of how things are going. If you are using um, this um, setup uh, in single player, then you have this additional jack plug, which again, you will kind of just run this around your body uh, into the second connector. So it knows that you're just a single player using this setup. Each of the guns has the jack plug on it, again, which you're gonna plug into um, one of the sensors so that you, the gun uh, can communicate. The gun provides all the power, so from those three AA batteries you are powering the gun, any of the accessories and the receiver itself. So the system, like I said, there's no extra batteries that you need to find, they're awkward. Three AA batteries and you're good to go. Okay, so look at some of the accessories for the blaster. So here we have the spotting scope. So if you're using the long range um, modules for the blaster, you're definitely going to want this. This basically slots into the top. We're going to wait until things are powered on so we can seal this, but this basically then has a spotting eye, so you can see um, possibly up to 500 feet because that is kind of how much extension you get when you, blast, when you pair the blaster with the long range adapter. That just goes on the, the muzzle of the blaster here. And then finally in this set, we have this. It's a wide beam adapter. So this will go on the bottom of the blaster and that does a couple of things. It gives you a, a very wide 20 feet um, blast with kind of each blast that you do from the blaster here um, up to as close as 20 feet, but it does have a maximum range still of 150 feet, so that's fine. Um, when you have this long range adapter onto the blaster, that does increase your range from 250 feet to a whopping 500 feet. So this is pretty damn impressive. So let's clear the table a little bit and then put these accessories on a blaster so you can kind of see what happens and what noise it starts to make and uh, then we just do a little bit of blasting with the sensors before we head out and try it for real. Okay so the first thing we need to do is simply place the three AA batteries into the blaster itself. So this is really kind of simple and straightforward. So as mentioned you just need a Phillips head screwdriver, undo the one screw, pop open that back cover it's a little bit awkward to pull out, but 
requires a little bit of force, pop the 3A batteries into the blaster, put the cover back on and do it up and you are good to go. Right, so now the batteries are in the blaster, we can kind of get things set up. So to start off with, we're just gonna have both the chest and the arm or back plate connected up. And you'll see once we attach the blaster to uh, the main plate here, everything will kind of spur into action and the voice coach will start giving us inspirational um, information. So I have them both currently set into red team mode. So we should see that these light up once the blasters are connected. Okay, and then we will connect up the rear one. So now this is working in... <laughs> There's an inspirational coach. So that's how you kind of add things up if you're doing it in one player mode. So again, this will be on the front, this will be on your back if you uh, want to have it in that capacity. Now let's look at what happens when we connect things up to the blaster. So first thing... So if I put it into a rogue mode now, so you can see, start off, then we're on the red team. Now on the blue team. And now we've gone rogue in this any to any mode. So first thing we do is we will look to attach the scopes. This is what gives us the ability to see up to 500 feet. It simply just slides in the bottom. So there's runners that enable this to just connect straight in. And it will have a nice locking function when you get there. Okay. And you can see the LED lights are lit up and you have good uh, kind of narrow vision through the scope there. Now if we add on the long range adapter to the blast, that's again, that's increasing our range from 250 feet to 500 feet. And again, just slips over the, the muzzle. Okay. So again, when you have um, these adapters in, it gives you that rapid fire blast capability. So again, single trigger, single blast. You can press and hold for that 20 kind of mega blast mode, really. So last but not least, we will connect up the kind of wide range blaster. So this slides in from the back of here. So you just need to be careful you don't get the cable caught. And then we can see that is lit up at the bottom. So when we have, um, when we fire, uh, it will basically give a different beam out here as well. So as you can see right now, and I'm clicking, nothing happens. We need to uh, reload. And you simply do this by holding the trigger and shaking the blaster. Okay, you heard that little Okay, so we're out again. So just to show you how it works, hold down the trigger and it's reloaded. This is the blaster um, in its standard form. So what we do now is disconnect this um, rear connector and connect it up to the other blaster so we can see how things talk to each other. Okay, so just whilst we're getting things kind of set up, I thought I'd plug in some headphones and yeah, all the coach kind of tips and stuff are now coming in just through the headset uh, and just have the audible tone uh, coming from the blaster. And I also have some kind of funky little gaming music going on to uh, keep me extra motivated whilst I'm running around. So that's pretty cool and neat to have as well. So just turn it off. And that's kind of the power down sequence. Um, one thing that's uh, important to know about the receivers for the blasters, they have a really good kind of wide range of coverage. So they don't have to have a direct blast to enable that kind of win or that hit uh, to be measured. It can come from the side or and it kind of creates a beam pattern around. So it is quite versatile. So 
Okay, okay so we've got things uh, plugged in and connected to the blasters. So on the left here, we are on the red team. Over here on the right, we are the blue team. So we start off with no kind of shots in the blaster. So we just need to reload. Okay. One thing I just realized is this kind of light area here signifies how much power you have left in the blaster or how many blasts you have, I should say. So as you can see, as we fire, things slowly do kind of change and it's kind of flashing. Okay, so it starts to flash a little bit. A bit faster, a bit faster, a bit faster. So it's fully depleted. And then we kind of reset. So if I just blast this blaster here, okay. and you can see the color uh, of this receiver changing color. So it started off green, now it's gone to a yellow color. Shoot again. And you also, obviously, as well as getting informed that you've been, uh, you've been hit by a blaster, you can see that these lights here flash. Okay. So one more hit. Okay. And so, again, we just got to sit here properly. So now, if you want to get this blaster back in the game, we need to go to off and then back on again. Then we need to reload the blaster. Okay. And then the same situation happens here uh, with that kind of wrist adapter. Oh, so, so the wrist, the uh, arm over here. Okay. So now what we need to do is head out to the field and uh, see how well these work in practice. I uh, do a couple of distance checks so you can see on video how that, that seems to work and kind of then get feedback from a big kid and a little kid and uh, see if we enjoy the Laser X Fusion set. Okay, I'm on the blue team and I'm using the chest piece and spawn one here is using the arm piece and it's the red team. Let's go. lighter here in the woods than I thought it would be so we didn't quite get as good a range as we were hoping for so I think with the light that we're in here so it's pretty much really bright sunlight so normally um, they say you get about 200 feet um, without any of the accessories on we were getting 
uh, around a quarter of that but again it wasn't optimal conditions and also it's quite hard hitting the smaller sensor the little sensor was a little bit better um, and true to kind of what it said once we put on the extension uh, it did double the range so we're getting much more accuracy at longer distances weren't we so pretty good um, good fun we enjoyed ourselves a bit hot and uh, we need a bit of rest now but so uh, yeah Fusion X is pretty good I think it'd be really good to play in a smaller area definitely with some people who have got other kind of Fusion not Fusion uh, Laser X guns or Laser X blasters even um, so yeah good stuff Thanks for watching this video, a thumbs up would be really appreciated. If you're interested in other geek type videos, please consider subscribing to Spectrum Geeks. Why not also follow us on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. And before you leave, why don't you check out one of these other videos that may be of interest. Thanks again for watching.